Hello everyone, how's it going? Remember to hit the like button trying to get to around 2,000 with this channel. If you want to support, there's a join button and a super thanks. Anyway, uh, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. This is one of the first early games that Nintendo developed for mobile platform in order to diverse their portfolio. Regardless, this game was somewhat successful. A lot of people loved it. And now it's coming to an end on November 29th. Now for a lot of gamers nowadays, they see this as another piece of gaming history about to be flushed down the toilet. There are a lot of games that are simply inaccessible due to hardware limitations, always online, digital only stores, a lot of reasons. And I'm sure a lot of us have seen the Stop Killing Games campaign led by Chris at Farms Ross. Uh, granted, I was all on board with him until I saw Thor for Pirate Software's rebuttal to that. He's a developer, he's worked in the industry for 10 plus years, from Blizzard Entertainment to his own indie studio, so he gave a developer's perspective of why this might be problematic, especially for live service games. So I would recommend you watch both those content in order to get an idea of the entire campaign. There are people who are entirely on Ross's side, and there are people on Thor's side, but I think there can be a compromise. And I think Nintendo has found it. So service for Animal Crossing Pocket Camp will end on November 29th. A paid version of the game is in development that players can transfer saved data to. There will be no in-app purchases or subscription services. More info on October 2024. So I think this is actually a really good idea. Now this is a live service mobile game. But they're offering a brand new version where I guess it won't have any of those live service functions anymore. But you can still play the game in its core function with this paid version. So I feel like that is a good compromise. They still have a version of the game available and you can buy it and transfer all your data to. Granted, I don't think this will work for every single game. Like for example, for a game like Fortnite or Apex Legends, I guess the comp compromise there would be like, okay, servers are being shut down. Uh, you can buy the game for like, I don't know, 10 bucks and you can host private lobbies through peer-to-peer -peer servers or stuff like that. No more public games, but you can do that. I think that would actually be a pretty good compromise because Thor is one of Thor's argument when it came to this. He used live service games as a big um, counterpoint to Ross's statement is that the game would never reach its peak of when it was first live. And that's true for almost every other game. But when it comes to live service games, that's more profound than ever because you need that live service element. You need that random generation of players through battle, pa uh, through battle royales or in this case, a mobile game. But... I would say given a paid option where it limits the function and allows players to still engage with the product not to its full function is a pretty good compromise. The developer slash publisher still owns the IP for these games and they still are able to profit from them in a way while people still have access to these games. Granted, it's not a full solution because this is still a digital only game and there are issues with that. Physical media to me is getting a rise even though digital purchases are still skyrocketing over physical purchases. I feel like there's still a market for physical purchases because more people are becoming aware of the problems that come with digital only purchases like what's happening with Redbox, what happened with Sony with the Discovery Plus situation. And not to mention the Xbox 360 store, 3DS store, Wii U store, shutting down. There are games that were digital only that are completely gone. So if you didn't download them on time, they're gone. There are games that are, have licenses attached to them that are gone. Like for example, Transformers War and Fall for Cybertron. People who bought them on Steam, you can still access the games to this day. But if you didn't, you're out of luck. You're going to have to find a physical copy or, you know, find emulation alternatives. I think this is actually a pretty good idea. So, you know, how do I transfer my data? Uh, transfer paid data to the new version of the game. So they're going to use the Nintendo Switch online system to transfer your data, which makes sense. What is the paid version of the app? You can see here, transfers basic gameplay and controls. However, this app will allow the player to include features with one-time purchases. There will be no in-app purchases or subscription services like uh, Pocket Camp Plus. So you can still get one-time purchases in the way of microtransactions. I'm sure they're not going to turn that away because that's free money for them. But there are going to be no in-app purchases or subscription services. So market boxes, gift, visit, and other player campsites will not be available. So all the online functions are basically taken away. And leaf tickets, which I will assume is the microtransaction system, will not be usable. So basically they're taking away like the in-game uh, currency, the online functions... And they're keeping the one-time purchases. And that's going to be it. 
But I think this is a good middle ground for a lot of people. And seeing that it's coming from Nintendo of all people is really surprising. I like Nintendo, but let's face it, they have some really archaic rules when it comes to their platforms. And, well, this is really good. I think uh, this is a good first step. I think a good, great step would probably have in physical versions, but this is a mobile-only game. But you get what I mean, like, with if Apex Legends ever gets shut down to offer a physical version, even if it's temporary to people with a disc option, but I don't know. I'm just spitting, I'm spitballing here. So tell me what you think about this in the comments below. I'd love to hear your opinions, like, dislike, your choice. That's it for me. Bye.